part of the speech is just a precursor. I'm very sorry I'm late, everybody. I hate being late. But what happened was I went to Delta to uh, pick up this chair for my sister. It's a big armchair, and I had it in the back of my truck. And I was going like 80 on the highway, and it blew out. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can I erase this, or is this crucial? No, you can erase it. Okay. Um, so yeah, there I was on the side of the highway. Like I parked my truck about 100 yards from the incident because that's just, you know I had to slow down. So there I was by myself dragging this armchair like against traffic. And it was really embarrassing because like, I made eye contact with people as they were driving, which just disapproved so much. Yeah, did your sister say when you told her? I haven't yet. <laughs> Is it broke? No, uh, oh, it's thrash. I was like, it, it, it didn't make it in one piece. Oh, no, no, no. And the funny thing is that my dad, as I was leaving, he's like, Is it an antique? No, oh, no. <laughs> the funny thing is, my dad was like, as, as I was putting in my truck, he's like, Well, make sure it doesn't get scratched all the way up there. <laughs> I was told him that either, but. Oh. Yeah, it was terrible. Um, So if you're not in class Thursday, we know what happened, right? Yes. <laughs> All police. Okay, um, I'm ready to begin now. Okay, whatever you said. <laughs> Little covers. Alright, my name is Hank Howard, everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to properly maintain and operate your cordless gas-powered steel weed whacker. Now, there's going to be four key points I want you to keep track of. And they all begin with the letter P. <coughs> the first two P's stand for personal protection. Very important in the weed whacker business. You're going to want to protect your body because it's the greatest instrument you'll ever have. Two things. Earplugs. may not seem like much, but over an extended period of time, your ears will get damaged from the sound of a weed ear. Two. Safety glasses. You're going to want to make sure these are approved by DOT, and you're going to want to buy them at Walmart or something. That's the cheapest. You throw these on the ground, they don't break, it doesn't matter. Three, it may seem kind of stupid, but you're going to want to wear pants. So oftentimes, I see people weeding their lawns in shorts. And I can tell you from personal experience, this is bad for two reasons. One, you get covered with grass all over your pants, and you don't want to tie on your legs. And two, I have seen gashes on people's legs from these cords because they're pretty intense. All right, on to the next two P's. They stand for plus persistence. Now you're going to want persistence when it comes to weed eating. You're going to want to finish the job because nobody likes a half weed eating lawn, right? Okay, first things first, you've got to check the gas level. Now the gas level on this particular model is located right here, and it takes a gas oil mix, which you've got to be very careful with because you can't screw that up. Make sure there's gas in the thing. This right here, commonly mistaken for a primer, is actually a purge bulb. And what it does is it gets rid of the gas out of the air breather so that you don't have to deal with that. It has a clean system to breathe through. Now, I'm not going to start it up because the fuel emissions will probably make you all pass out. But, now we don't have any cookies this time, so <laughs> you want that. What you're going to want to do is prime it about, I call it prime, but it's really purge. Prime it about twice. Make sure this little bubble right here is filled up about to the top. Next thing you're going to want to do is choke it. On this particular model, you have to set the choke up top high. You pull this down, your safety, and you pull the trigger at the same time. And you're going to want to pull that once or twice until it starts to turn over. Now this is probably the most important thing you will learn in here. You've got to get an ear for this when it turns over. Because that's very important for not overheating the engine and ruining your $250 very expensive machine that you had to borrow money from your dad for. So then, you flip this down as soon as that happens, and it should crank right up the first time. Now when that happens, you're going to want to let it sit for a few minutes because they can get very annoying if they stop on you. Now once it starts, you're going to look kind of like the goof with earplugs in and these. So what I like to do is I like to jazz it up and put my hat backwards. That's the way I weed eat. It always will be when I'm 95. I don't care. <laughs> so once you got it running and started, a little fun fact, you can also be seen while you do this because you seem to harmonize with the engine sound. You don't sound so terrible. It's like singing in the shower. <laughs> so I really like to sing old songs and stuff like that when I do it. Spring City Walmart. <laughs> so you're doing it. You're going to want to keep in mind not to scalp your lawn. This is very important. The old people you're mowing the lawn for will never hire you again, and they will never tell their fellow old people about you. 
So that's just very counterproductive for you. You're going to want to come in at it at an angle like this. Now, there's several different things. When you come in at an angle like this, this is good if you're up against a sidewalk that isn't elevated against the lawn because it's just going to get a nice, even, straight cut. And you can buy expensive machines for that. But why do that when you can do it with a weed eater? After you do that, you can come back, do it again, and get a little bit of an angle cut on it. This is my personal favorite cut because it adds a touch of class that other lawnmowers don't do. I mow six lawns a week, so I've been doing it since I was 12. So you're going to want to come in at an angle, keep the trigger, the throttle, at an evenly paced thing, evenly paced revolutions per minute because you don't want it too much or else you'll scalp the lawn. You don't want it too little or else it just won't do it. So you come in at it, you weed eat, you get the whole lawn done. Then you're thinking, what about all these trimmings on the side of the lawn? That's where the lawnmower comes in handy because you take the lawnmower and make sure you put it on the right, on the left side of the lawn because it blows right and you blow the grass back out into the lawn. When you're finished, I like to leave mine in the on position so it's ready to go. Just turn it off and then on. And that's my presentation about the still FS55 weed eater. Are there any questions? <laughs> Thank you.